Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are discussing about lever function test. In this video we are going to discuss about functions of the lever and various enzymes like SGPT, SGOT, alkaline phosphatase, GGT and bilirubin and certain proteins like albumin, ceruloplasmin and alpha phytoprotein. Let's see. The liver is a critical organ in the human body that is responsible for an array of functions that help support metabolism, immunity, digestion, detoxification, vitamin storage among other functions. It comprises around 2% of an adult's body weight. The liver is a unique organ due to its dual blood supply from the portal vein approximately 75 percent and hepatic artery approximately 25 percent the liver function tests typically includes alanine transaminase also called sgpt aspartate transaminase also called sgot alkaline phosphatase gamma glutamide transferase serum bilirubin prothrombin time the international normalized ratio, total protein and albumin. The term liver function test is misnomer as many of the tests do not comment on the function of the liver but rather pinpoint the source of damage. The elevations in ALT and AST in out of proportion to ALP and bilirubin denotes a hepatocellular disease. Uh, elevation of ALP and bilirubin in the disproportion to ALT and AST would characterize a cholestatic pattern. Let's learn SGPT or also called ALT. It is synthesized in liver, kidney, heart and muscle. The normal reference range for SGPT is 4 to 36 units per liter. If rise in SGPT is up to 300 units per liter, then it can be non-specific and can be seen in normal pregnancy in second trimester. If the SGPT is elevated more than 500 units per liter, then the causes are viral hepatitis, ischemic liver injury, toxic induced liver damage. And if SGPT elevation is noted even after 6 months, then we can state that acute hepatitis is converted into chronic hepatitis. Now let's learn SGOT. It is synthesized in heart, liver, skeletal muscle and kidney and it has two biological forms. First is cytoplasmic and second is mitochondrial. The cytoplasmic forms are seen in heart, skeletal muscle and kidney and mitochondrial forms are seen in liver. The normal reference range for SGOT is 5 to 30 units per liter. It is elevated in myocardial infarction and liver damage. If AST slash ALT ratio is more than 2 then it suggests alcoholic hepatitis. If AST slash ALT is less than 1, then it can suggest NAFLD, that is Metabolic Dysfunction Associated Liver Disease or NASH. This graph suggests different causes of ALT and AST elevation. The marked elevation of ALT and AST occurs in toxic injury, ischemic injury and viral hepatitis which can be more than 10,000 international unit per liter. Alkaline phosphatase it is synthesized in intestinal mucosa, proximal convoluted tubule of the kidney, bone, microvilli of bile and placenta. It helps in lipid transport in intestine and calcification in bone. 50% contribution to activity of ALP is from the bone. Normal serum ALP level is 30 to 120 units per liter. 
there are four isoenzymes of alkaline phosphatase first is placental alkaline phosphatase second is germ cell alkaline phosphatase third is intestinal alkaline phosphatase and fourth is tissue non specific alkaline phosphatase significantly elevated alkaline phosphatase is associated with obstructive liver disease mild elevation of alp can occur in infiltrative liver disease abscesses granulomatous liver disease amyloidosis cirrhosis hepatitis congestive cardiac failure and transient hyperphosphatasemia ggt that is gamma glutamyl transferase it is synthesized in hepatocytes biliary epithelial cells renal tubules pancreas and intestine it is present in cell membrane performing transport of peptide into the cell across the cell membrane and involved in glutathion metabolism normal serum ggt is 6 to 50 units per liter elevated ggt is associated with obstructive liver disease hepatitis and alcoholism ggt is elevated 10 times in alcoholic liver disease and it is a marker of alcoholism in obstructive liver disease ggt is 12 fold rise and alkaline phosphatase is 3 fold rise ggt is not found in bone so rules out bone disease values of ggt being 50% higher in individuals with bmi more than 30 that is due to fat deposition in the liver this table shows differential diagnosis according to the elevation of alp and ggt if alp and ggt both are elevated then possible diagnosis is hepatic or biliary disease if alp is elevated and ggt is normal then it suggests bone disease and if alp is normal and ggt is elevated it suggests alcohol abuse now let's learn about bilirubin bilirubin is formed when hemoglobin is degraded in reticular endothelial system this bilirubin combines with albumin and it is present in a blood stream that is called unconjugated bilirubin and after this unconjugated bilirubin reaches to liver then conjugation of bilirubin occur in the liver by udp glucuronyl transferase after conjugation conjugated bilirubin is secreted in bile and it reaches to intestine from the intestine again through enterohepatic circulation it reaches to liver and some of the conjugated bilirubin is excreted in urine and excreted in feces the normal serum reference range for total bilirubin is 0.12 to 1 mg per dl and conjugated bilirubin is 0.02 0.3 mg per dl the conjugated bilirubin increased in hepatic or biliary disease The reference range for unconjugated bilirubin is 0.2 to 0.8 mg per dl and it is increased in hemolysis and congenital syndrome. Now let's learn the differential diagnosis of increased bilirubin which is called a jaundice. Mainly two type of bilirubin is present first is conjugated and second is unconjugated if conjugated bilirubin is elevated then it can be of congenital or acquired in the congenital there are two syndromes associated with increased conjugated bilirubin and they are dubin johnson syndrome and rotor syndrome In acquired conjugated hyperbilirubinemia there are several causes first is intrahepatic pathology they are hepatocellular cholestatic infiltrative sepsis etiologies and drugs and toxins 
Here, AST and ALT enzymes are markedly elevated than ALP and GGT. And the second etiology is extra hepatic cholestasis. It can be due to tumor, pancreatitis, stricture, cholelithiasis. Here, ALP and GGT are markedly elevated than AST and ALT. Now let's see unconjugated bilirubin. The etiology may be congenital or acquired. There are two syndromes associated with congenital unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia and they are Krigler-Nazar syndrome and Gilbert syndrome. An acquired unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia may be due to hemolysis or due to certain drug ingestion. Let's learn about albumin. The important protein the liver produces is albumin. Albumin levels provide an idea of liver function and other factors such as nutritional status and nephrotic syndromes. Albumin has a half-life of 15 to 20 days and therefore may not be useful for acute liver dysfunction. Normal reference range of albumin is 3.5 gram per dl to 5 gram per dl. Albumin levels are combined with coagulation studies to provide insight into liver's functional capacity. All clotting factors except for factor 8 are produced by the liver. Ceruloplasmin. It is synthesized in liver and is an acute phase protein. It binds with the copper and serves as a major carrier for copper in the blood. The normal plasma level of ceruloplasmin is 200 to 600 mg per liter. Elevated levels are often seen in infection, rheumatoid arthritis, pregnancy, non-Wilson liver disease and obstructive jaundice because it is an acute phase protein. Low levels may also be seen in neonates, Menkes disease, Quashiorcor, Marasmus, protein losing enteropathy, copper deficiency, acerulo-plasminemia, and finally, Wilson's disease. Alpha fetoprotein. It is highly activated in fetal liver, significantly repressed shortly after birth. High levels seen in fetal liver and visceral endoderm of yolk sac and at low levels in fetal gut and kidney. The normal level of AFP is 0 to 15 microgram per liter. An AFP value more than 400 to 500 microgram per liter has been considered to be diagnostic for hepatocellular carcinoma in patients with cirrhosis. These are the references for this video. Hope you like it. Thank you. Bye. See you in the next video.